Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. Today, I'm going to show you how to use or control an iDevice such as an iPhone or iPad with a mouse. So you can not only use a standard mouse, but also use an alternative mouse such as a trackball, touchpad, or head mouse to control an iDevice. Today, I'm going to use an iPhone and trackball mouse and touchpad to demonstrate it. If you want to know more about an alternative mouse, please watch my previous video on alternative mouse devices. Okay, let's get started. To connect a iPhone with a mouse, you first need to go to settings and then go to accessibility then under physical and motor, open the first one, touch. And if you look at under assistive touch, it says it allows you to use your iPhone if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory. So I'm gonna go ahead and open assistive touch and then I'll turn this on okay so as soon as I turn on you see this assistive touch button appears and you can drag and move it to anywhere you want and then if you tap it once it will open up the menu and then if you touch outside of it, then it will close it. As you can see, there are many adjustments that you can make on assistive touch feature, but I'm going to just go over the feature which can help you to get started with using a mouse to control an iPhone. So let me go up and let's start with the first one, customized top level menu. So when I tap and go in, this shows the layout of the buttons, which you will see when you touch and open this assistive touch button. So this is what you see in here okay so in here you can use plus or minus sign to delete the buttons or you can add buttons and you can have up to eight buttons on the layout and then if you tap this reset it will delete the changes you make and restore the default menu settings. And if you tap any of this icon, you can reassign a different function to this button. So let me change the Siri button, Siri button to other functions. So what I'm going to do is tap this and then let me change it to hold and drag and then I'll tap done. So now you can see this button is change it to hold and drag. So if I tap this assistive touch button, you can see this also reassigned from Siri to hold and drag. Okay, I'm going to go back and 
custom actions and custom gestures you can just leave as it is and then let's look at the idle opacity going to tap and go in and here you can change the visibility of assistive touch when not in use so if i slide this to the left you can see the assistive touch button is very light and then if you move it to the right now it's very dark so i'll leave it as around 60 and then i'm gonna go back and under idle opacity you see there is pointer devices and devices is where you can go in and set up connecting a mouse so i'm gonna tap devices and then you see here it says um, assistive touch allows you to connect bluetooth and usb assistive pointer devices so i'm gonna tap bluetooth devices and then i'm going to turn on the bluetooth and as soon as i turn on you see that this expert wireless trackball is connected um, i've already connected this device before so that's how you can see the device but i'm gonna go back but if you try to connect a bluetooth mouse for the first time you just need to tap bluetooth devices and then while it's looking for the devices you put your device in a pairing mode and then it will show um, the device under here and you just need to select it but since i've already connected the trackball mouse i'll go back and then i'm going to also connect this touchpad using usb so to connect a usb mouse you need a usb to apple lightning adapter so one end i'm going to plug it in the usb and then the other end i'm going to plug into phone and when I plug in, you can see that it says under connected device, um, USB device, which is this touchpad. So I'm going to turn on the touchpad. So now these two alternative mice are connected to a phone. And I'm going to go back. And then I'll have this show on screen keyboard and always show menu feature both of them on. Okay, so now if I move this trackball, you can see this little dot can be controlled with trackball. And also, same with the touchpad. I can control it. So I'm going to move it to assistive touch button. I'll click. And then this is the home button. So if I click, it will take me to the home screen. And then... I'm gonna click this again and this time if I click control center it shows control center if I use touch I can get to control center by swiping down 
the screen from the top right corner. So this is how I usually get to the control center. Okay. And then this time I'm going to use touchpad and then let me open the menu and if I tap device, device will let you control the font features such as the changing the volume and if I click more, I can take a screenshot and etc. So I'm going to go back and then go back again and notification center. If I tap it, it shows the notification. So again, if I use touch, I can get to the notification center by swiping down the screen from the top middle this time. So if I do this, I can see the notification center. Okay, and then let me go back to the trackball and let me open the assist with touch menu. And then this time, if I click custom, this will bring up the buttons for the additional gestures like pinch and rotate, long press, double tap. And also if you create your own gesture under the um, setting, um, it's going to show in here. Currently I've made delete and tap gesture but i'm going to cover how to create a custom gesture um, at a um, separate video so i'm gonna go back and then this is the hold and drag button which i've reassigned from siri so let me show you how it works so i'm going to go back to the home screen first and let me open up safari and this is one of the article that i was reading and let me use the hold and drag feature so i click the hold and drag and if i click here i can select text so hold and feature hold, hold and drag feature is very similar to um, click and hold mouse function so it click the left mouse function and then hold it so it's same similar to that um, feature so with this hold and drag feature i can select text i can grab a screen and then move up and down so that's what hold and drag feature will do that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.